Hello everyone, Team man 978 Right now I'm going to be reviewing Iron Factory IFEX29 Rush Beats, baby. That translates to be third party legend scale jazz. <laughs> T Man 978 Chill Review. First off, let's look at the packaging right here. As you can see, he fits in there very darkly. You can't really see him too much, but you do have these lovely images right here, right on the front. Here's this on this side. I like the stripe. Here's this stuff right here. Here is this QR code if you want to scan that for whatever reason, whatever happens, I don't know. It might take you to instructions or something. Here's this, if you can use this in any type of way, and here's this. So here he is out of packaging, and he is absolutely adorbs. He looks fantastic. Like, holy moly. Now, if you're new to Iron Factory, Iron Factory is good at, or the Iron Factory EX. They make Legend Scale, and what I mean by Legend Scale is this. Their figures, their main figures, are close to the same size as the Legends Transformer. Sometimes they're smaller, sometimes they're bigger, depending on the character, but basically they are the same height as a Legend Scale Transformer, but... They'll have deluxe class and sometimes semi masterpiece scale like articulation and, and detail. Really, this thing is pretty loaded with everything I would need except wrist swivel, but it does everything else. Let me just start showing you that right now. The shoulders can shift up and down and they go out this way. You can bring them up and they come up that far, but. I just revealed one of his gimmicks. They molded in his little speakers he would use to dazzle the opponents and knock them off balance with his light show and lights and sound show. So you can do that if you want to get his arms all the way out. Or you could just leave them out all the time just because you want him to have some type of wings. This is what it makes his arms look like back here, but typically he would be like that. The elbow bends like just 90 degrees and rotates. Said nothing in the wrist. The waist swivels right there. And if you want to fake it, you can shift this, like move this out the way and kind of semi untransform him. And you can give him a waist joint and you can reorient this to be further up his back. So that is cool right there. Legs kick out all the way to the side so you can do a full split. You can kick more than 90 degrees up. You can kick 90 degrees back. Swivel right here. The knee bends slightly more than 90 degrees, even though he has part of his spoiler hanging out back here behind his knees. And then there's this angle pivot right there. Look at that. And plus the foot can go down and stuff because of the transformation. And it has toe articulation. So and that's also due to transformation, but it's still there. Negatives, I don't like that these bump unless you bring out the detail right here. I wish it could come up a little bit further without having to pull that out. I mean, I guess this is good enough, but it's hitting his head. And I didn't show off his head articulation. He can look up and down on the ball joint and tilt and whatnot. And of course, rotate. So... You get a lot of motion out of that, and that's great. Another negative, if you push right here, this will lift up. And <clears throat> much like this guy right here, where the chest has an issue tabbing in, this doesn't really tab in there really tightly. The joint up in here is pretty tight, and this keeps things into place or stops it from moving so much. But... It, it can wind up lifting back. So I guess he does have a back ab crunch if you want to say that's a back ab crunch. But other than that, this thing is awesome and super crazy posable. He comes with this blaster right here that's painted silver. This pops down, put it in his hand, and it is very huge. But I don't mind that so much. 
it makes them look a little bit more intimidating and makes the gun look that much good when you're posing him around and whatnot. So there's that. In fact, to emphasize on how huge that is, it's almost the same freaking length as this gun right here, as you can see. And he is significantly taller. So that is nuts. But it doesn't take a whole bunch of effort to get this guy into some type of pose that looks good. And I really, really love that. New Age Flipper and Iron Factory Cygnus. You know their real names. Transformation. It's about as difficult as Transformer Seed Sideswipe. Pull that out. Lift that up. And put that to the side for now. And we can start on the feet. Let's open that door up. Wrap the toe. And oh, there's some scraping on his little silver. But anyway. Put that up in there. Put that up in there. And kind of move them out in, in this orientation for now. Plug the legs together. Open this door, of course. Now, back here, we can start moving that back and lifting all of that up. Now we can move this kind of out of the way so we can rotate the waist. But then just bring it back down because it's going to need to be right there. Up here, you need to just put the arms in this orientation. They don't tab together. Put the fist in like this. Push this up like that so I can go past his head. Shut it. Start rising this up to meet the tabs on the side of his, his little bumper area. Get this out of the way. Bring them in like that that kind of needs to rock down put the hands inside of the groove so they can rock down and now we can shut this on top of some pegs on the arms and behind this stripe right there once you get all that into place go ahead and rotate this this way and plug these two pegs into the two holes right there All right, now we can rotate these down and into place. That's one issue I have with um, Iron Factory. Maybe there's some easier way to do this, but the little tabs on the side of his waist tab these into place solidly, and then we can shut these back. Like, there's a bit of a clearance issue because they're trying to put Deluxe size, somewhat masterpiece size, transformation level stuff into a figure that is basically a legend scale. Clearance is a little bit of an issue because it's so small. And the pieces are typically like these angular pieces that don't want to move around each other. But you end up with a pretty solid car right here. If I had any complaints... This stuff isn't painted right there. I mean, they put detail on it, but it's not painted to look like a solid white back of a car. But other than that, it's painted nice. It looks like a car. And as we can see right here, it rolls as no problem rolling. So that's nice. Only other issue, and you notice this silver back here. Only thing else that I can say is an issue is the way that looks right there. Not cohesive. Like... The first couple of times I transformed this, I don't even remember that being a thing, but that's the only way you can do this. So there you go with that. You can take this gun and tab it into here. So pow, pow, pow. Boom. It goes along with the masterpiece thing. And there is like no way to store that under here because this gun is humongous. I haven't tried it yet. I keep forgetting to try it out, but maybe you can rotate. Yeah, no, there we go. You can rotate the head. So, yeah. Uh, looking at this, you couldn't necessarily tell that's a robot under there. It does look weird and it's not flat. But you can't necessarily tell that this is a robot at first glance while having it like this. Unless you look at it really hard and you see all the hinges and, I mean, all the seams and hinges and whatnot. But it's nice. I can't complain. Here it is next to Legend's Tailgate. Again. 
as you can see they're roughly around the same size so the scale is accurate but these two characters wouldn't go together because tailgate is supposed to be smaller than a typical autobot carbot but they're all in the same scale as you can tell so you know what to expect i can read your mind so i knew you wanted this comparison right here that's what it looks like next to new age flipper all right because it's so simple reverse transformation basically get these out of the way open this up and untap that and swing these around you can go ahead and pull these feet up which is a smidgy difficult now this having that paint wear I can understand because of what I'm doing with my fingernails but how it got that squeak right there on the toes I, I don't know you know what I do know what I had it in my daggone pocket that's it's, that's my fault anywho split this right here come on tabs oh you know what I need to detach this right here first then these will be able like this is a snug fit iron factory has some good tabs sometimes we'll get that out of the way move these out of the way rotate the head around now we can bring this down if you have the head rotated it doesn't want to be rotated when you're transforming them back to a robot mode push this underneath of his chin and we can go ahead and shut that bring the hands out and voila oh wait rotate his waist and separate that voila magic he is a robot again and i love him so yeah if you like legend scale cutesy wootsy transformers that are good quality plastic pose well has a whole bunch of personality let's make sure i zoom in on this face before we go because i forgot to do that you kind of see he has like a little grin so his face has personality and it looks good do you have some extra blue paint right there on his little head fan right there but yeah he still looks good and he looks nice and I can suggest him. So get him if you like legend size or small figures based upon characters that you really love and enjoy. And I do enjoy jazz. Jazz is very nice okay. looking. So until next time, T Man 978 out of here. Thank you for watching. Click, click the videos. Click the fucking videos, baby. Click, click the videos. You should really click these videos. Click, click the videos. Click the fucking videos, baby. Click, click the videos. You really should.